Hello and welcome to a new video. I haven't done a voiceover in a long time and I wanted to try it again since people told me that they like that too. I am trying more things with videos lately, seeing what people like best. I put text on the bottom to explain things and for one video I did more. But others did it way less and this was distracting because I don't know. So uh, here is the voiceover try. <laughs> Feel free to give me any advice down below because this video Making stuff is just not going well if you look at my analytics, so <laughs> any advice is appreciated. Anyway, today we are drawing the character design to represent the constellation Virgo. As you can see in the footage here, I am trying a lot of poses and I just couldn't really set on one. I use Paintos I2 for drawing and I will show my brush settings on screen here. Man. So pause the video if you are interested in that. Uh, I already made a design for this character Virgo. But I wasn't really happy with the top portion especially, so I really want to show that off. However, I kept going back to the pose from behind, as you can see later, and eventually settled on that one, spoilers, because I just thought it looked really cool and it would fit his personality, I think, I don't know, I just liked it. If you are unaware of the series of character designs I'm doing, let me give you a quick rundown. I am making these blue alien-like characters for the constellations in the sky. I first started with just the zodiac signs because they are the most well known, but I also did other constellations and I hope to do more because this is just really fun to do. I have somewhat of a world built around it, however it is still a big work in process because I mostly concentrate on the character designs and stuff, so that's what I like doing the most. Uh, this project was something I started almost two years ago, I think, it was just to entertain myself. It was something I could go back to whenever I felt discouraged or just had an art block in general. I always wanted to do something with the zodiac signs, that's a very easy thing to get into, and a lot of people have made character designs for the zodiac signs, and I always think they're super fun. Uh, I did want to give it a bit more of my own twist, which mostly ends up being, well, just them being hot guys, and probably royalty too, because I just really like royal character designs. So that's exactly what I did. I made them all princes. Uh, only the zodiac, that is, the other constellations are not. They're less important. Uh, I only made hat shields of each zodiac sign as well, and I later on drew chibis and full body sketches too. But now I am on a journey to make 12 princes, each have a full body colored as well. So that's, that's what you're looking at right here, right now. I am making Virgo, the constellation meaning the maiden. However, Virgo is not a maiden himself, he is a blue man. Uh, I enjoy designing men more than women, so I just wanted them all to be dudes. Leave me alone. <laughs> even though you could say this about a lot of my designs, Virgo here does kind of look like a chick, even more so than his brothers. Just, just a bit, just a bit. <laughs> I wanted Virgo to be more elegant, more charming, and more feminine than his brothers. I like the idea that it's so perfect that no one has ever had any negative feelings towards him because of his beauty and because of his kindness. I wanted to be to the extreme to make it more of a funny gag than him actually being an annoying Mary Sue or Gary Stu in a male version, I believe. Uh, it's always hard to explain the fun part of your idea, quote unquote funny. <laughs> So feel free to think this enough of you. I won't blame you if you think it's cringe. I, I would almost agree with you. <laughs> I sometimes make small comics with these designs, so maybe I'll have Virgo make an appearance as well, since he hasn't yet. Weird enough, because I do really like him, but there, it's only like a few comics, like small ones, like two, for, two free frames, so... Maybe they're not even comics, they're just pictures, but I'll eventually feature him and then maybe then I can show his personality a bit better. I based my designs on four things. First thing is simply their imagery, making them kind of look like the thing that represents their sign. So for Taurus, I gave him bullhorns, you know, very creative, very cool. I also base the designs on the myths related to the constellations, so stories that people used to tell about them. And I also base it on the science behind the constellation, like their stars or their resource studies and all that. And lastly, I base the design on whatever I feel like. Sometimes I just think something fits, or I just want someone to look a certain way. Or just, it's, just a, it's a gut feeling that I refuse to throw away. You may notice that the thing missing from this list are horoscopes. The belief that your personality is a certain way because of your star sign. Now personally, 
I think it's bullcrap. <laughs> you do you if you believe in that. Go for it. Let's go. But for me, I find it to be too ridiculous to include. I used to have a little knot to it, making the princess each shoulder element their sign is related to. But I scrapped that later on because yeah, it, it, it made their designs too busy, especially the earth signs. Because Virgo here is an earth sign, apparently. I don't know how they determined that, but apparently. So his old design had him have gems over his body. Uh, I removed those because, again, I thought it was too busy, I didn't like it. Uh, other things I changed about the design is the top. Uh, it looked back at me. It had a little face. I, ca I couldn't even see the face. I didn't like it. Um, now, you can't see it very well because of the post again, but to help me out, and maybe you too want to see it, I made a quick sketch from the front of the design. So here it is. As someone mentioned in the Discord server, I went. What do you? No, 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 as someone mentioned in the Discord server, I went ham on the muscles. Not only because I am a woman with great taste and I think muscles are beautiful and I want to include them in my work anywhere I can. I also like for a girl especially to have some nice different muscles to have uh, so it's a nice contrast with its feminine features and all that. The Virgo constellation doesn't have one certain myth tied to it, like some other constellations do. The constellation was often associated with several goddesses, like the Mesopotamia goddess Shala, who was the goddess of weather and grain. Ooh. Uh, the Alpha Star of Virgo, Spisa, uh, still shows this because it means ear of grain. So, no, the relationship is still there. Uh, the constellation also was associated with Demeter, the, the Greek goddess of wheat and archiculture, so the theme of rain. And such still come back here as well uh, because of all this the constellation is also often associated with fertility well because of more goddesses but also because of this now I didn't do much with this information design wise uh, for stash here does include a bit of grain and I didn't want to include braids in his hair because I just kind of think it looks like grain you know you kind of see it uh, but I can't really say I used this to my full advantage I did design each of the princess weapons because I just think it's cool. I don't know if they actually use it, use it but I just think it's cool. And Frugal has a sword with a gray motive as well, so you know, there's that. Sometimes the constellation Frugal was seen as the Greek goddess Astrea, the goddess of justice. But that later on went to Libra, so. Who I drew in the last video, by the way, so check it out. A winky Bates. Uh, maybe because of this, we're really going to be friends. I mean, they're brothers, so they at least like. A good relationship and like even better like high five of friends i do imagine them to be the two most sane princes so it would it would at least fit it would fit another myth tells about aragone aragone whose father was killed by the village now they did have somewhat of a valid reason if you ask me uh, the father kind of poisoned everyone with his wine making skills he got them from dionysus it's a long story don't worry about it but Anyway, the daughter and their dog heard about this news and they were so upset that they also died. Rest in peace. Uh, and they were put in a sky together, all three of them. Uh, because they were so loyal or something. I don't really you know. Aragone being Virgo, the dog being Canis Major, the dog constellation, and the father being Boltus, the Hertzman constellation. So, of course, these three characters representing these constellations would probably be friends. Especially Boltus, I think. I like uh, here's his design, by the way. I think he adores for a girl. He wouldn't be the only one, but still. There are more associations with the Furry Constellation. There's like a whole list. And what they all have in common is that they're either normal women or a goddess who have not done the deed. So, what better thing to do than make a design that is like a hot guy? <laughs> constellations each have a castle or a palace of some sort and it represents their constellation as well mostly in size and overall idea uh, they live in a castle together with their stars who are also character designs by the way because of course I humanize everything I see uh, not all of them of course constellations have like the sky has millions of stars billions of stars I'm not gonna do that I don't have that much time unfortunately um, but that represents the overall deer, you know, like the constellation being together in one 
castle, and the size of the castle represents the size of the constellation. Virgo here has the biggest castle of all his brothers. Not the biggest castle in the sky, that goes to the Hydra constellation, if I'm not mistaken. Doesn't really matter. Uh, Virgo has the biggest one out of all his brothers. So the sun is present in each zodiac constellation for a period of time each year. That's why they're the zodiac. And like, in real life, you know, that's why we chose them to be the zodiacs. And because of Virgo's size, the sun set in here for a total of 41 days. <laughs> Uh, in my own word, this means that Virgo rules space for 41 days, and that the Sun, who is also a character, of course, lives with him for these days each year. So he has to be pleasant to be around. And you know, to be given such a long reign and for the Sun to stay there for so long. Fun fact, Scorpio only has the Sun, and what is more, the reign of space, for six days. It's not even a week. It has to mean that people can't stand him. It has to mean it. I'm sorry, it just does. As for the line art, I use this brush, now shown on screen. And for the shading and coloring and such, I simply use a normal pen that comes with paint tools. I am pretty sure that's the pen. But just in case, here are the settings for that one too. So have it, here you go. I keep everything cell shaded because I really like that look. And for the line art, I color it to match the underlying color sometimes just to make it a bit softer. So the darkest color in these pieces are always the line art and that is dark blue. I never use black in any of my pieces. I do start by using black for the line art, but eventually make it dark blue to make it a bit you know, more soft. Now you can find this art on my Patreon. I also uploaded them eventually on my other social media, so you will know, see it somewhere. They're all linked below. But on my Patreon, I also have the other constellations like Boetis and Canis Major, all mentioned in this video. Patreon is always the first place I upload art like this, so that's where you can find it first. I also do this on my Discord server, which is linked to my Patreon as well. However, I don't really like the idea that you can only talk to me if you pay me, so I think it gets kind of gross. So if you want an invite to that server, just shoot me a message on any of my social media. It's again linked below, and I can give you one. So. That's also a way to get in. Uh, the reason I don't make the invite public is because people would just go in and can drop their art, and as soon as they had that confidence, they would just leave again. They do this in the middle of conversation and make like the server talk about them or their own interests and all that, which can totally be a good server, totally, but it's just not what I have in mind for this one, okay? It's just another place you can see my art and ask questions directly and all that, so it's, it's mostly that. Uh, there's not too much going on. Sorry, but it's still fun, still fun, but it's not much. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment too, that would help me out a lot more than you think. Uh, tell me if you have any ideas for videos or over here, uh, like how, how he would be, how he would say, how he would sound, anything. <laughs> not because I'm not creative, because you guys are so creative, ah, oh, and I'm totally not making you do the work for me, totally not, ah, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you for watching, it was great having you here, and I'm wishing you a great day. Bye bye. Doei.